I also know that Mugabe considered defeat on 2008. He found Mbeki and Obasanjo to concede defeat. I hope that uh, Tabo Mbeki and Obasanjo will one day make that public. <laughs> but one of them, I won't say which one, told me that Mugabe phoned them that Saturday night and said, look, I lost the election and I concede defeat. Uh, and I know that Mugabe stuck to his guns. I was prepared to go. His wife was since bags packed to go somewhere on the following day when Mnangagwa and Chiwenga approached him and said, you stay where you are. And then they contrived the runoff, sadly with the help of South Africa. And runoff took place, very violent. 360 people were killed. The South African, I came here as part of a delegation to Cape Town to see members of the ANC. I don't want to mention names, they're my friends. I saw them and through them, the cabinet committee of, subcommittee of uh, South African cabinet was set up on the Zimbabwe issue. It was on the base of that cabinet committee that South Africa did not recognize the runoff. And indeed, it was the base of that committee that um, uh, Tabo sent the generals to South Africa, to Zimbabwe. I met them. And I was one of the few uh, to have read the report because I, I was flying to Joburg in the company of General Romano, who was a friend. He passed away. No? And I also took uh, uh, people who had lost their hands the violence to the South African embassy in Harare. And Romano broke down in tears. How can a liberation movement treat this people like that? He was a broken man. So there's no doubt at all here in South Africa as to the brutality of the regime in Arabia. So it amazes me, it angers me in fact when I hear the nonsense coming out of uh, people in Babylon's mouth. They know it. And the report has never been uh, published. Before. The general report to this day. It tells you. Complicit behavior, but to get back to 2008, the runoff took place. Mugabe was sworn in at midnight before boarding a plane. Wouldn't make it. We shall make it. Ambassador, I forgot to mention it. Was a crime, but clearly there was a definite plan to keep Mugabe in office. And it's no secret that the, I had the Tabo speaking the other day, saying that Mugabe people came together from the JNU. It's, not, it's only after two. Mugen Changarai was, was literally regimented into the JNU. That's a fact. 